Okay guys, today I'd like to do a quick video clarifying how I get my power into my house from my PIP 2424 MSX. It's kind of, well I guess it's simple after I've, done, after I've paid somebody else to do it. But here we go, I'm going to try and explain this quickly. So basically I have got a, um, what is that, a TL5000 SMA inverter. It comes off these 24 panels here which are 250 watts each and then comes down to these um, isolators and into this inverter and then comes out as 240 volt and then into this main switch and then gets distributed either to my home or outputs to the grid um, so I can sell the excess power. Now my generator this this box here was installed by Jorgensen Electrical now that there pretty much handles my solar stuff so on on my house I've got powered from AC mains or genset so these three switches here are the only circuits in all of the house that I run off grid so to speak um, what's that the stove hot water um, that's the house that's the shed pool and garden um, air conditioners and another shed so that's basic that was that's my workshop one so basically this is how it works we disconnected these three I mean the positive in on this side and then we connected it out to the output of this 63 amp changeover switch from Hager 250 volt so the the power's been moved to here to the output side of this device now the gen set at the bottom the power actually for the gen set the power actually comes out of here into the inverter which is over there the pip 2424 msx and then back out to here or back out to here actually these three so what that does is when it's in gen set mode it actually goes through the inverter and then back to here again and then the internal shunts inside of the inverter control whether it's drawn from the grid power or from the battery okay so that's how that side of it works so when it's down the inverter decides how the power gets used and then when I flick it up to mains so if I have a problem with my inverter I can just twitch it back to mains again so it comes from here and then directly back to these switches and gets distributed within the house so I hope that clears up how I actually get the power out of the house and if you've got any questions as usual ask them below and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.